Good morning. Welcome to worship on this first Sunday of the season of Epiphany, the season of light, and the showing forth of Christ's glory to the world. This is also the Sunday in the Christian year when we celebrate the baptism of Jesus. My name is Tom Johnson, and St. Stephen's Episcopal Church has asked me to lead morning prayer today and offer a homily so that our rector, Peter Rood, can spend time with his wife, Kristen, as she continues her recovery from surgery. Later in this service, we'll offer a prayer for them both, and also uh, extended prayers for our country that have been suggested by the presiding bishop, Michael Curry. Also, thanks to Michelle for helping today with the reading of scripture and the singing. You might want to mark in your Book of Common Prayer, Psalm 29, Psalm 29 on page 620, and we'll be singing that using Anglican chant uh, a little later in the service. Psalm 29 on page 620. Also, the hymn for today, if you have a hymnal, uh, is hymn 490, 490. Uh, in the hymnal, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light. You can also find that hymn on the link that was provided in the email that was sent out. If you click on that link, uh, it shows up on your iPad or your computer or your iPhone or whatever phone you have, uh, and you can sing it right off um, the link there. But if you have a hymnal, it's on page 490. I'd like us to begin our worship today with a song that uh, is an, uh, often used as an opening song for worship, and it's one that we haven't used recently uh, here at St. Stephen's, and it's called, This is the Day that the Lord Has Made. It's a simple quotation from the Psalms. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, and Michelle and I will sing it. The lines are actually repeated the first time through and then sung all the way through until the end. Um, and so we'll, we'll try it together. And if, uh, if we uh, get to do this again, we'll repeat it so that everybody can learn it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. One more time. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Please turn in your books of common prayer to page 79. Page 79. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. 
that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to, Son, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Let's say together the Venite on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let, let us come, come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the, the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Now let us sing together using the Anglican chant tune, Psalm 29, found on page 620 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 29. And the tune is... Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the glory of God thunders, the Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The first scripture lesson is from the book of Acts, chapter 19. Listen for the word of the Lord. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No. We have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, 
that is, in Jesus. Upon hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please turn in your Book of Common Prayer to page 87, Canticle number 11, the third song of Isaiah. And we will say it together. Page 87, the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Our, our second scripture lesson is the gospel lesson from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And the people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks Praise to you. Lord Christ. Now please turn in to page 93. Page 93. And we will say together Canticle 17, the Song of Simeon. This is a canticle that's often said or sung at evening prayer. But what Simeon says in it is so appropriate for Epiphany that we'll use it this morning. Canticle 17. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes have mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now say together the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96.
let us say what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now for the prayers on the next page, page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray suffrages A, and Michelle will start. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The prayer for the first Sunday after Epiphany. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, Grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. We will be using prayers this morning that were suggested by presiding Bishop Michael Curry uh, in an email that was sent out to the diocese. And we will also be praying for the special concerns of our own congregation after that. So join me in praying to our Lord for our country and for the needs of our community. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory to serve you in freedom and peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of justice, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all people may be gathered together under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of the one God and creator of us all, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us in Jesus your Son. 
Look now with compassion on the entire human family and particularly for this part of our family in the United States and those in our nation's capital. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infects our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth in your good time. May all nations and races serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day and in this moment we pray for our nation. We ask God to heal us, to show us the way to healing, to show us the way to be one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Take a few moments for silent prayer for concerns that you have on your own heart, and then I will add the concerns that have been reported to our congregation. We pray for Genevieve Matakovich and her family who were in the earthquake that occurred in Croatia at the end of December. Please play, pray for Genevieve, uh, who is Crystal and Rick Colombo's daughter. Pray for the continued safety of them, her family, their children. Pray for the recovery of their community. We pray for Alex Baird, his family, and his sister Cheryl, who has breast cancer. We pray for Dave Willis, who is undergoing cancer treatments. We pray for Amber Freisinger and her family as she recovers at home from a serious infection. We pray for her, for Rob and the girls for their healing and strength and comfort. We pray for Helen Vanderford, who has resumed chemotherapy on January 6th after emergency hospitalizations interrupted her treatment. We pray for her healing, comfort, and strength. We pray for Kristen Herman, who is recovering from surgeries related to her brain aneurysm at Kindred Hospital in Seattle and for her husband, Peter, our rector. We pray for Kristen's healing and for strength and comfort for Peter. We pray for Laurel Lau and her father, Casey. She remains on the waiting list for a kidney transplant. We pray for all healthcare workers and first responders on the front lines in the battle against COVID-19 especially for Tim Brooks, Amy Garrett, Paul Herman, and all others who care for those in need. And we pray for Tom Williams, who will have surgery later this month for the pituitary adenoma. Almighty God, ruler of all things, in heaven and on earth. Mercifully accept the prayers of your people. Strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer and we will say together the general thanksgiving. Yes, we need to do the hymn. Thank you, Michelle. Um, before we do the general thanksgiving. Let's uh, sing together a very good hymn for Epiphany, hymn number 490. Sorry, hymn. I didn't catch that. You can also
also try spelling it. Siri wanted to get in on the uh, hymn today, so uh, we thought we had her turned off. <laughs> hymn number 490. I want to walk as a child of the light. Four nine zero. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness, shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart. Lord Jesus. I'm looking for the coming of Christ. I want to be with Jesus. When we have run with patience the race, we shall know the joy of Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Now page 101, and we will say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, we your unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the love and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. To remind you, there's also a brief homily on the Gospel lesson in a separate video, and I hope to see you all during the Zoom coffee hour at noon. God's peace.